flight duty limit FAA the app and how to use it. Hi, I'm Thomas and in this short video I will present you my uh, small app flight duty limitations FAA, an app we, which implements the flight duty limit regulations according to FAR part 117. So it is essentially for pilots who are flying under FAR part 121. The app, like all my other apps, is very easy to use. In the upper field, you enter your check-in time in UTC, so in Greenwich time. Uh, for demonstration purposes, it is now set to 1 o'clock p.m. Uh, the time is set in a 24-hour format. And it, in the fields below, you can enter some data of the flight date, day. Uh, so like the on the upper left side, you enter the number of flight segments or so the number of legs at this day, like two or three. On the upper right side, you enter the number of crew members. Two would be a standard two-man cockpit operation. And But the app also implements single pilot operation and augmented crew operation. For the demonstration purposes, I enter now two for a standard two-man cockpit. And on the lower part, on the left side, you have the rest facility class, uh, which is the class of the rest facility where during the augmented crew operation, the pilot who is not in the cockpit at the time uh, could have his rest. It makes no sense to use this field for a two-man cockpit, of course, because both pilots need to be in the cockpit all the time. On the lower part, on the right now, there is the deviation from UTC where you enter the number of hours uh, which your time zone where you, are, where you start your duty is uh, located and deviates from Greenwich time. In this case, plus one hour. So this would be, for instance, Central Europe. In the lower part, uh, you can set if you are acclimatized according to FAR part uh, 117.15, which is essentially if you have been in the same time zone for the last hours or days before the beginning of your duty, uh, the exact definition you can read in the regulations. All I have to do then is to press this compute button and then on the next screen you can read off the results. In the first few rows you can read the data you have entered and in the lower part you can read the results of the calculation. So in this case the max flight time would be 9 hours, the maximum duty period would be 12 hours and the latest checkout time for the check-in time we have entered. Uh, would be, of course, one o'clock in the morning UTC, which corresponds in this case to two o'clock local, local time, because we have entered one hour deviation from UTC. And on the lower part, there is also a message which says the minimum rest time is always 10 hours according to regulations, of which eight hours have to be uh, the possibility to of uninterrupted sleep. In one of my next updates, I will also show the uh, earliest check-in time, but this is not yet implemented in this version. So thank you very much for watching this video uh, up to this point, and I wish you. Many happy landings and have fun with that. Thank you. Bye.